Hey everybody, it's Edie and welcome to Mixed Mediology. Today's video is an episode of Vloggishness and I'm talking about tattoos. <laughs> so, if you follow me on Facebook, then you know I got a new tattoo on Saturday and here it is. So it's a phoenix and it's on my inner forearm and it hurt like a bitch. <laughs> um, and if you want to see the full bits and pieces, process, making of mine and my husband's new tattoos, then stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to compile all of that and put it at the end. So for those of you who want to see this come together, but um, I, I know you probably can't see it right now and it's shiny because I've got the medicine on it and everything, but here's a photo of what my new tattoo looks like. How fucking cool is that? Oh my god. So, um, yeah, I, I've been wanting this for a while. Um, and I, I was back and forth about where I wanted to get it. And then I had the idea that, well, first of all, I wanted to be able to see it all the time. Which is why I decided to get it on my forearm. But in the, in the process of designing it, I decided that I wanted it to be coming from my vein. So I'm going to try and like get it at an angle where you can see, but so if you look right there, his tail actually comes down and it looks like it's coming out of my vein. Like he's born from me because it is the, like, this is my inner fire and this is a reminder of my inner fire and you know, shit gets me down sometimes, but I always come back, and I come back bigger and brighter and stronger and more beautiful and, you know, more, more, um, empowered every time. So that was, that was a little bit of the meaning behind the phoenix. Um, and so it, it led me to, in, in posting the pictures of this, I got a lot of comments and I got a lot of private messages from people talking about their experiences with tattoos, with not getting tattoos, why they have wanted one but never gotten it, or, you know, why they've gotten some of the ones they've gotten, or why they, they haven't gotten one yet. Or, you know, some people said I could never do it because it's too fucking painful. But in, in talking to people and in getting those private messages, people shared some incredible stories with me about tattoos and why they want to get a tattoo or why they have gotten a tattoo. So I wanted to talk today a little bit about tattoos as talismans because I have three tattoos now. I was um, I was two months shy of my 37th birthday before I got my first tattoo. And I had wanted one for hmm, about 25 years. I think I was about 12 or 13 when I decided I wanted a tattoo. Um, but tattoos were like forbidden in my house and so I wasn't allowed to get one when I was younger. And then when I got old enough, I'm really indecisive. If you know me, I'm incredibly indecisive about the most random shit. Certain things I know exactly what I want and I, you know, it's laid out right in front of me and it's ideal. But a lot of times I'm really indecisive or I'll make a decision and then I'm like, mm, yeah, that was not a good choice. <laughs> so that was a big part of why I never got a tattoo before. And I wanted something meaningful, and, and until that point, nothing had really been meaningful to me. I mean, things had been meaningful, but not for a tattoo. Uh, and I was terrified of the pain. I have, <coughs> excuse me, I have a pretty high pain tolerance, but that, the fear of the unknown, I didn't know how painful it was going to be. 
and I didn't know if I was like going to have an allergic reaction to the ink or you know to the tattoo itself. I'm incredibly fair skinned. Um, I've known people who have had allergic reactions to tattoos. I've known people whose tattoo did not heal well. Now I know it's because they didn't take care of it properly, but um, yeah, I, so I've, I've seen horror stories <laughs> with tattoos. So, like, there was a lot of stuff holding me back from getting this tattoo. But uh, for our anniversary a couple years ago, my husband took me, so it was like uh, coming up on three years. For our anniversary, almost three years ago, my husband took me as a surprise to the tattoo shop. And we got matching tattoos. And we like, now my phone's ringing. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, where was I? Um, so yeah, so it was a surprise. And we, like I've, I've spent years thinking about a tattoo and like agonizing over what I should get. And will I be happy with it? And what if I don't like it? And then I'm screwed because it's permanent and it's forever. And, you know, so... When he surprised me with this, he told me the night before, and I didn't think we were really going to go through with it. So we had an idea, and it was going to be this itty bitty little thing, you know, it was a matching tattoo, and so it was going to be this itty bitty little thing, and then we get to the tattoo parlor, and neither one of us are really loving the idea of what we had planned, and so we literally stood there, and then in the time span of about 15 minutes, plotted out our tattoo. <laughs> and the colors and the design and everything and gave it to the artist and he actually drew up what we had in mind and that was that was it and we got a matching tattoo and so we have crowns he has one on his um upper oh, on his bicep up near his shoulder and mine's on my ankle um and they're you know tattooed for each other and then after that I was hooked <laughs> because it's not comfortable it doesn't feel good but the pain wasn't nearly anything like what I expected it to be. So after that I was hooked and now I have a list of tattoos that I want. And then if you remember last summer when Stephanie was here I got this one and my phone is ringing. My phone never rings! What the fuck? Jeez, my phone never rings. Where was I? Again! <laughs> so I'm hooked. Oh yeah, so I was here. Okay, so uh, last summer Stephanie came, and I know it's backwards to all of you, but it's when I look in the it's a mirror image tattoo. So when I look in the mirror, it's correct to me, and it says I am enough. And from the moment I got this tattoo, there was like this internal concussive boom, and I believed it for the first time in my entire life. You can go back and watch the the video. Um, it's actually on my other channel, but I'll I'll post a link to it down here where Stephanie and I are talking about our tattoos that we got together and what they mean and and how we felt afterwards and I just had this incredibly transformational moment when I looked at myself in the mirror for the first time with this tattoo and it's absolutely a talisman and the same thing for the Phoenix like as I was watching it this one's a little bit different and I'm going to talk about what what happened with this one but as I was watching it um, be born on my flesh like there was just this reawakening it's seriously like a rebirth exactly what the meaning of the phoenix is like I had that experience while I was getting the tattoo and so I kind of wanted to talk about some of that today because I've gotten so many messages from people I've gotten several people to tell me that They've always wanted a tattoo, but, you know, they've been too afraid for one reason or another. The pain is, is part of it, but, you know, like what society will think or what their family will think. Or, um, you know, some people want to cover up old tattoos that, you know, th things that no longer serve them or actually give them negative feelings now when they look at the tattoo. They want to cover all that and, like, wipe the slate clean and put something that's, that's more current for them. Um, I've had more than one person tell me that they have either used it for this purpose or they want to use it for the purpose of covering up scars. Um, some people have different scars for different reasons and they want to use their tattoo as a way to bring about beauty from the scar. And I think that's incredibly empowering. And I think if you have something negative like that, whether it's you know, whether you just want to create some beauty on yourself or if you have something that was there before 
and it's it's no longer serving you and you want to and you want to move past that and put something that's that's more in line with who you really are on you or if you have a scar from some reason either you know an accident or you know an abusive relationship or self harm or you know anything that has left a mark on you that causes you emotional negative pain or um, just negative thoughts of any kind if you want to cover that and put a tattoo on your body that is a reminder of who you really are or that taps you into that feeling of your internal power I say go for it I think it's incredibly empowering and you deserve that like you deserve to have that reminder if you need it you deserve to have that beauty you deserve to have that power in yourself to determine I want this on me and I don't give a shit what anybody else thinks this is my body and my choice and I'm gonna do what makes me happy you deserve that and I'm not saying tattoos are for everybody and this isn't just about tattoos this is about a piercing this is about changing or cutting your hair this is about throwing out your wardrobe and buying clothes that make you happy this is about painting your fucking fingernails red. It's about whatever it is that makes you happy in your own skin. This is about you using your voice to say, this is who I am, and I don't care what anybody else thinks about it. This is who I am, and this is what I want to portray. This is what I want to put out into the world. Now, I understand that not everybody can get a tattoo for work reasons. Uh, you know, maybe you want one on your wrist, but you can't because, you you know, you're in, the, in a certain workforce that doesn't allow you to have tattoos. I get that. But that doesn't mean you can't put it somewhere else. Um, and again, this is not just about tattoos, but because mine is a tattoo, I wanted to talk about tattoos specifically today. But <clears throat> not everyone can get a tattoo in the place they necessarily want it, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't get one. Or if you have a scar... There are ways that you can use tattoos to cover the scars. Um, if you have a previous tattoo that you want to cover, man, there are some amazing artists out there, and you can, you can create this new version of yourself, this new empowering talisman that is constantly there to remind you every time you look at it about your inner fire, your own inner power, your own true voice. And I think if you have the chance that you should go for it. If you have to save up, even if it's $5 a week, because tattoos are not cheap. Tattoos are not cheap. Mine was not cheap. Um, but, you know, you're going you're gonna to spend this money on these little things anyway. And to have that empowering experience and to have that transformation take place in your psyche, man, like in your fucking bones, this shit happens and it changes you forever. I say it's worth a little bit of money. And I would much rather spend 300 euro on a tattoo that's going to last me forever, but more importantly, give me that sense of my inner fire forever than to spend $300 on, you know, shit that I'm, I'm not even going to have any connection to next week. You know, I'm not going to, something that's not going to move me once I'm done with it. I would rather invest in something like that. I would rather invest in something like this that's going to move me for the rest of my life and remind me of who I am at my core than, you know, an extra pair of shoes this week. So yeah, if you have to save up for one, if you really want one, I say get it. And don't let society or your family or your friends, who gives a shit? It's your body. Even if it's your husband or your kids or your wife or your mom, it doesn't fucking matter. It's your body. And if those people really love you, they are not gonna care if you get a tattoo it's not on their body, they'll get over it. Like, <laughs> that's just the way I feel about it. Um, my decisions to put tattoos on myself have nothing to do with my husband, my mother, my son, my 
future employers if I ever have one. If, if a tattoo is going to be something that severs our relationship or puts a rift in our relationship, then the relationship wasn't that good to begin with. You know, like, you're supposed to love people for who they are, not because they have, you know, a pretty picture on their body. It's, like, it's, it's ridiculous. So, that's my little rant <laughs> on who and what should have determination on whether you get a tattoo. You are the only person that can decide whether or not you should get a tattoo and what it should be and where it should be. Um, so yeah, I think they're incredibly powerful and, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> excuse me. Mmm, lemonade. And the other thing about tattoos, not only can they be talisman just in the act of getting it and then the image of it, but Seriously, you can literally put power into your tattoo. Mine is actually a spell. So as I was preparing my tattoo, I had very specific ideas in mind about the meaning behind it. And I designed my tattoo. And then I took it to my tattoo artist, who doesn't speak a lick of fucking English. And we literally, my husband and I both literally plotted out our tattoos via Google Translate and pictures with our artists because they don't speak any English and I don't speak hardly any Italian. So between Google Translate and pictures, we were able to get exactly what we wanted across to them. And now our guys are amazing. And I wouldn't trust anybody else in this entire country to do a tattoo on me. Um, but they didn't know the intention or anything behind it. But... Uh, so I, I planned out my tattoo and designed it and everything, but in the designing of it, I was thinking about the meaning behind it and, and what I wanted it to um, bring alive and what I wanted it to remind me of when I looked at it. And so, you know, all of that went into the creation. And then as my artist was actually tattooing me, I had a very specific Pinterest board that I had put together and I had very specific words of power that I had prepared for while this was being done. So while he was putting the tattoo on me, I was putting the intent into the tattoo. I was putting the power into the tattoo. I was putting the spell into the tattoo. And he was putting it on me, but I was putting the energy into it. And I was looking at my Pinterest board and I would visualize and think about what I wanted this to embody. And I had my words of power. I didn't say them out loud, you know, because I'm in the middle of a tattoo parlor. But um, in my mind, I was saying my words of power and imparting that energy into the tattoo as it was being created. And I just held that energy there for the majority of the tattoo. My tattoo took four hours, so it was a long time. And I would just keep looking over the board and, you know, saying my words of power and just imparting the energy pretty regularly throughout the tattoo. Like every time he would change color, I would do it again. Um, each time he would change it, the technique, like went from outlining to the, the layers of color, I did it again. So this is a spell. Like it's literally empowered with the energy that I wanted to have. So even if I'm not thinking about it at the time, it's always there doing what I want it to do, which is another really cool talismanic way to use um, tattoos. Uh, so yeah, mine was, um, mine's all about my inner fire and just remembering that even if shit gets me down, I come back bigger, better, brighter, stronger, more empowered every time. Um, that I'm never done. You know, I'm never done. I can, I can try again. I can do more. I can spread my wings. I can burst into flame and and share that spark with all of you and with the people around me and with my family and with the people that I love. So yeah, that's that is what my tattoo means. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Sorry. So, um yeah, that's what I wanted to say about that. If you have a tattoo, um 
and it and it has some meaning to it or if you use it, you've used it as a spell and you're comfortable sharing leave it as a comment below because I'd really love to read those stories if you're thinking about getting one dude go do it like it is so awesome it's fucking painful I'm not gonna lie and depending on where you get it it can be more painful than others like my ankle hurt while I was getting it done or yeah, it hurt a little bit while I was getting it done, but it hurt more for three days after because I was walking on it and the flexing and the, you know, the weight and everything. Um, so that one hurt for like three days after I got it done. This one hurt way more while he was tattooing me, but as soon as I got up out of the chair, it never hurt again. It, was, it wasn't even tender. This one? Oh my God. The entire thing, like, getting it tattooed was excruciating in certain spots only for little bits at a time only for a few minutes at a time like the outlining is always one of the worst parts because it's a, a small needle in it and it you know feels like a little razor blade so it's it's not comfortable but it was tolerable and then all the layers of color you'll see in the video like there's layers and layers and layers on top of layers and layers and layers of color to create this flame effect and most of the time it was okay but like here on the inner part of my arm that was the most painful fucking spot ever right there. Out here, this was like, this was fine. It was uncomfortable, but it didn't hurt. And then down here in the crook of my elbow was pretty fucking painful. But right here, oh my God, dude. And right in here, towards the inner part of my arm, that hurt. And then after a while, you just get tender. So this was four hours. And after a while, you're just sore and tender and, and kind of ready for it to be over with. So the layers started to hurt more. But the thing that hurt the worst, let me get close again so you can see. And I don't know if you're even going to be able to see them, especially not at this angle. But if you look, you can see some tiny, tiny little lines. Oh, let me get out of the shot so it focuses. Teeny, teeny, tiny little lines of red and white in there. Let me see if I can find one to point it out. Okay, right here. You see that little teeny tiny line? Oh my God. Those little fucking lines hurt like you would not believe. And there's just a few of them and he was just like and putting them in there. Oh my God. I was just like, how much longer? <laughs> it was like about 10 minutes. And I was just like, oh my God, 10 minutes. Oh my God. It was so painful. So yeah, but it was like 10 minutes. So it just depends on what you get and where you get it as to how painful it's going to be. There's lots of stuff out there about, you know, where where is most painful. Go on Pinterest and put in tattoo pain and you'll see like there's all these little diagrams and there'll be shit like lit up in red. This shit should be bright fucking red right here. <laughs> and then mine was really sore for about three days. Um, to, I got it on Saturday, today's Tuesday, and yesterday was the first day that it, like the pain really started to subside and I could stand to touch it, but I think I kind of like, <laughs> I made it a little bit worse because I got the tattoo on Saturday and then on Sunday I decided it was a smart idea to bake homemade bread for Beltane, and so I was like kneading bread with a fresh tattoo, <laughs> it was not smart, my arm swelled up, it turned red, it got hot. And so I had to like elevate it and put ice on it and uh, yeah. And then my, yesterday I baked a pie and it, again, I, had to, I was just like, I'm doing too much with it, it hurts. But today it's fine. Like I can touch it and it's, it's fine. So yeah, um, I think that's it. I'd love to hear your stories about if you have tattoos or if you want to get one and it's really meaningful and why. So I have a list, I plan to get more, and I will be sharing my stories as I go. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed my little Tattoos as Talisman talks. Um, talk? <laughs> Remember, if you like what I do here, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button, that way you don't miss anything. And then you can share it with your friends, that way they can hang out with us too. If you got something out of this, or if it moved you in some way, share it and get the message out so that other people hear it too, because I think it's important that people know it's okay for you to make a choice about your own body and for you to decide what makes you happy and what what empowers you um, on your own body and only you can nobody else can 
So yeah, share it with your friends, that way they can hang out with us too. Remember, you can find me all over the internet. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Pinterest, I'm on Instagram. You can hang out with me in the Mixed Mediology Clubhouse on Facebook. You can also hang out with me in the Amaranth and Oracle group on Facebook, which is the Year in the Day Tarot Study group. And all the links for all of that is in the down bar below, so just clicky clicky and come over and join me in those places. Thank you all so much for being here, and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Chris and I are here at Stylish Tattoo in Catania and we are getting ready to start our day of tattooing. Uh, me, Chris, and a friend of ours who is transferring are all getting tattoos together today. So Chris's appointment is first this morning and then mine this afternoon and then our other friend later in the day. I know I just went really dark, sorry. I'm waiting for the light to adjust. There we go. So I'm inside the tattoo shop and um, they don't speak hardly any English, and I don't speak hardly any Italian. So for the last few days we've been talking via Google Translate and pictures, and the awesome guys here at Stylish Tattoo helped us figure out everything, um, and, and made sure they understood what we wanted for our tattoos, and they've helped us map it out, and pick the sizes, and everything. So we're really excited. This is what Chris is getting, is this rat on his upper arm and I'm getting a phoenix I know the light's terrible sorry I'm getting a phoenix on my forearm and then our friend is getting a dream catcher on her side so um, yeah we're just waiting for them to finish drawing up his tattoo and putting it on the stencil paper and then we'll get started let me just show you this is such a cool place this is like one of the coolest shops that I have found in Catania. This feels like a real tattoo play, a real tattoo shop. Like, I, I did research because I'm anal about where I'm willing to get a tattoo from. And this was the place that seemed the most legit and coolest. And so, yeah, this is like the only place I'll get a tattoo from. <laughs> so if you ever come to Sicily and you want a tattoo, Stylish Tattoo in Catania is the place to go. All right, so we're waiting for his tattoo and I'll check back in.
So Chris is all done and they're getting ready to start mine. And I'm excited and nervous because I'm getting it on my forearm so I don't know how bad it's going to hurt. But here we go. Okay, he's getting ready to start. Oh my god. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Not yet at least. <laughs> so that it'll look exactly like the, um, the image with no black. So he just wiped it off and he switched the gun. So I don't know if my outlining is done or if I have more of that to look forward to. <laughs> So I don't know if I'm done with the outlining or not.
They look like real planes. That is so cool. Gosh, these flames look amazing. I'm so excited. Wow. Wow, totally worth every bit of pain. Oh my God, this is awesome. God, these flames are amazing. Wow. Wow.
Ooh, right there burns. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> That hurt, but it, it's totally worth it because it looks amazing. I am so loving this so much. Maybe no 
Oh, okay. Maybe no. But I, I want to see before he does it. Okay. Forse lo farà anche in seguito. Ora lì si possono fare. Ma va a fare lungo, non... Non so di che preparire. Io lo farei, sai che colore? Tipo blu, tipo... Blu, viola, azzurro. Blu. Sì. Io con l'effetto spazio. Io voglio la parola. Come qua? inside of my arm does. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah. I love these little dark lines he's drawing now. Oh, my God. 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 O